Hello everyone, Sergius here, and get ready for 5 gaming related news stories for today. First up, the official launch trailer for the massively anticipated Fallout 4 has arrived, marking the ever closer release date that has fans on the edge of their seat. Fallout 4 was created by Bethesda, a game studio well known for making incredible games with far reaching stories. The new trailer features the beautiful post-apocalyptic world of Fallout 4, some hints at story arcs, the ability to upgrade buildings or hideouts, and of course the iconic war. War never changes. A link to the trailer can be found below. A Kickstarter by Protocol Games is well on course to become fully funded. Song of Horror is a story driven third person survival horror with 16 playable characters, permanent death and paranormal terror. The Kickstarter has already gained 17,000 euros of its 50,000 euro goal and it still has 34 days to go. The game is set to be released on PC, Mac and Linux along with PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The full features list is as follows, a thrilling movie-like experience, automated cinematic cameras, 16 playable characters, careful exploration, agile and adaptive control system, an unsettling soundtrack, samples of which can be found on their Kickstarter page, a dynamic AI, permanent death and plenty of puzzles and riddles. The game looks promising with inspiration from titles such as Alone in the Dark, so if you're interested, a link to the Kickstarter is in the description. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 has been released, continuing the insanely popular and seemingly never-ending franchise of Call of Duty games. The new title in the franchise is claimed to showcase Treyarch's innovations across all modes of play and provide the most content-rich game in the Call of Duty history. CEO of Activision Publishing, Eric Hirschberg, stated, With Black Ops 3, we wanted to create a Call of Duty game like no other, one that brings innovations to every mode in the game and introduces a few new surprises along the way, all while staying true to the gritty blockbuster thrill ride for which the franchise is known. This game is so fun, so deep, so varied and has so many kick-ass twists and turns that we couldn't be prouder of it and we think our fans are going to love it. And Treyarch has delivered. Our full news stories on the Black Ops 3 release can be found down below. Defend the Highlands leaves early access and lands in full release tomorrow. The game combines genres of tower defense, real-time strategy and Scotland. Uh, yeah, don't ask, that was in the press release. Honestly, we have no words for this game, as wacky and crazy as it seems by pitching absurd characters and stories against each other, it actually looks rather fun, and with positive reviews on Steam, it may actually be worth checking out. The game features wacky enemies such as Welshmen who ride sheep into battle, English teapot hurlers and Irish potato farmers, among just a few. Crazy defensive structures ranging anywhere from porridge cannons to turnip turrets, recruit Scotsmen by deploying bagpipe playing units, capture and hold oat farms to keep your porridge stockpiles full, command powerful hero characters from humble pub owners to William Wallace himself, the ability to upgrade units and defensive structures, and a 20 level story mode with the alternative option of playing custom matches in skirmish mode. We're gonna let this one sink in and leave a link to the Steam page down in the description. Undead Legion's Resurrection has arrived on Kickstarter. The game is being developed by Key17 Games, who require extra funds to finance the final development stages of this 2D top-down RPG shooter. Players choose one of four characters with up to four player local co-op and fight to survive in this frantic, fast-paced shooter, each with their own unique abilities whilst fighting through increasingly difficult levels. A link to the Kickstarter is down below. And there's your 5 gaming news for today, be sure to check out site fragments.com to stay up to date, keep gaming and we'll see you next time.